One school district employee has already resigned in connection with what Chilton school leaders are calling an exam crisis. Several students caught cheating on tests, and the district admits it made some major mistakes. Also, as Fox 11's Robert Hornacek found today, it will also cost taxpayers thousands of dollars. The school year may be ending, but dozens of students at Chilton High School will need to retake their advanced placement exams. Here are the facts. District leaders say their investigation found five students cheated on the exams. They say the guidance counselor who was supposed to watch the students admitted he left the room during the tests. The college board, which oversees the testing, also found that the students were sitting too close together during the tests and some were facing each other. That goes against the college board's rules. As a result, the 75 students who took AP tests in this classroom will have to take the tests again. Some parents aren't very happy about that. In an email to district leaders, one parent wrote, the situation is beyond appalling and the way it's being handled is unacceptable. In her response to the parent, Superintendent Claire Martin apologized, saying, quote, I would do just about anything to erase these circumstances. We wanted to speak with Superintendent Claire Martin about the situation here at Chilton High School, but the superintendent refused our repeated requests for an on-camera interview. Martin did speak with us off-camera and provided Fox 11 with two letters she sent to parents. In one letter, she says the district takes full responsibility for this situation. She blamed the seating issue on an oversight. Martin says the guidance counselor, Phil Grable, resigned last Friday. I reached out to Grable, who said he had no comment. Of the 75 students affected, five decided not to retake the exams. Retakes for the other 70 started this week. Those 70 students will retake a total of 128 exams, and each retake costs $45. In her letter, Martin admits that in its negligence, the district failed students, so the district will pick up the tab for the retakes. That means taxpayers will foot the nearly $6,000 bill. In Chilton, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. The Chilton School Board will hold a special meeting tomorrow morning at 10 to discuss the situation. And the district has also scheduled a meeting for parents on Tuesday night. The district has said the general public will not be allowed at either meeting.